The purpose of this climate arts project is to bring awareness to the residents of New Jersey on how to be resilient in the face of climate change and specifically the rising sea level. New Jersey has a greater risk of sea level rise than most other places on the planet. Art projects at four different places on the New Jersey coastline were commissioned by NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The idea was to focus on threats posed by climate change and rising sea levels. NOAA partnered with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection and the New Jersey State Council on the Arts. Sean La Tourette is the commissioner of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. I think art encourages us to be thoughtful and reflect upon our experience of the world. And I think it changes us in a way by helping us to appreciate the urgency of what's being communicated and compelling us to act. In Port Norris, at the Bayshore Center at Bivalve on the Delaware Bay in southern New Jersey, ceramic artist Gail Scuddery created tiny houses made from handmade tiles. The historic oyster fishing village is now highly prone to flooding. My partner and I, Kathy, created a series of tiny houses that are up on stilts uh, to give an immediate visual of raising the house so when the sea level rises, you won't have a, a flooded uh, basement. I began first by doing a lot of research myself um, and the fact that not only is the sea level rising, but New Jersey itself is sinking due to natural geologic reasons. We invited members of the community to come and create clay tiles that would then be used in making some of the houses. In Long Branch, choreographer Lynn Needle and her dance company, The Art of Motion, created a myth-inspired multimedia work about the ocean. I wanted to address coastal fragility through the power of the ocean and through what my work is about as a choreographer, which is legend, myth, and nature. Menacing storm clouds gathered during the performance, and as the dance was about to end, the heavens opened up, a vivid reminder of how the climate is changing. At Dundee Island Park in Passaic, artist Adrian Colburn created sculptures that show historic and projected water levels along the Passaic River. The project consists of these two markers, and they're made out of a ship mast. I've taken the data from the USGS streamflow gauges that are in the Passaic River, and I've carved the mast on a lathe as determined by like the course of water passing through the gauges. So if there's more water passing through the gauges in 1965, it's a kind of fat section. If there's less, it's a lean section. So one of the posts will kind of represent that stream flow as well as the annual average temperature. So it's painted in a color that corresponds to the average temperature. We're getting more water coming down in high concentrations and the amount of rainfall is going up. Prior to installation, Hurricane Ida completely flooded the park. At the Obsequian Lighthouse in Atlantic City, artists Nancy Agati and Rebecca Schultz created a mosaic made of permeable surfaces. Our project is called Water Table. The general idea is that it's an in-ground permeable surface uh, made up of different materials to show the public how water gets absorbed into the ground. A lot of folks will, you know, pave around their houses thinking that that water will go away, but where does it go? And it doesn't absorb into the ground, so, and this is a beautifying way of, of allowing the water to um, absorb. I mean, all of my work is really focused on really you know, encouraging people to see the, the natural world in, in different ways, in new ways, and understand that we're just part of it. We're not you know, the masters of it. We're not this, this idea that we kind of want to dominate it is what's kind of gotten us to the point that we're in. One of the 
kind of main starting points for us in coming up with the image for the piece was to look at maps of the New Jersey coast and particularly there are all these interactive tools now that you can use to see what different areas will look like with certain, you know, increasing levels of sea level rise. A young man who helped us yesterday and, you know, he saw part of it go in and he looked at it and he was like, I could, I could do this in my yard. And that's like, that's what we want. Scientists and artists are working together more and more because scientists are, are really seeing the value in, of art, of communicating and getting people to think about environmental issues.